Hello, future scientists. Another interesting and amazing topic that we will discuss in Unit 6 Sound. In this lesson, we will talk about ears and ear muffs. Okay, for ears, specifically the animal ears. We have two ears. Remember, ears help us to hear sounds and can help to keep us safe. Ear muffs is a pair of soft fabric coverings connected by a band across the top of the head that are worn over the ears to protect them from cold or noise. At the end of the lesson, you can say that you hear when sound enters your ear and that ear muffs block the sound. And you can explore and observe using ear muffs to find out how sounds change. You can even make comparisons between listening to sounds with and without ear muffs. Okay, so these are the keywords for this lesson. Small, animals, big, worse, better, ear muff. And these are the useful links. Please watch these videos to understand more about the lesson. Let's watch this video to start off the lesson. And after watching, future scientists think about this. We're all ears the same size and shape and in the same place. We understand that the sounds are heard when they enter the ears in humans and other animals, as well as identify many sources of sound. All animal ears are not in the same shape or size. Look at these different animals. They have different ears. Why? Because they have adapted to their environment. Like humans, animal ears are designed to collect sounds. Animals have ears to help them hear. Animals that are predators, okay, so these are animals that eat other animals, usually have ears that face forward so that they can focus on listening for their prey. What is prey? Animals that are prey are eaten by other animals, often have ears that can move around. This helps them to listen for sounds from different directions so that they can hear a predator creeping up on them. Why do you think animals have big ears? Just like this desert fox, its large ears don't just help it hear prey from far away or underground. They also help regulate its body temperature. This adaptation helps the fox survive in dry, hot climates. Its ears are unusual and more akin to those of a cat in appearance. They function well for finding food. The Arabian hares are the smallest in the world. Their large ears can dissipate body heat through many superficial blood vessels for cooling. Actually, that's for cooling. And like rabbits, hares do not live in burrows, but spend the day motionless in shallow scrapings, under bushes, or in the open with ears folded back, relying totally on camouflage for protection. Important for a small animal like a desert hare lives its life on the surface of a desert. Now, what other animals have big ears? This bat, known as California leaf nose bat, the hearing is so good they can sense the footsteps of a cricket. The African elephant has the biggest ears of any living animal. It holds the record for having the largest ears to body ratio. Besides allowing the animal to hear, an elephant's ears function to regulate body heat and to help fan off pesky flies from the elephant's eyes and face. Rabbits are well known for their long, floppy, or pointed ears. But there are some species of rabbit who are clear winners in the big ear game. And this is it, the black-tailed jack rabbit. Okay, when their ears pick up the slightest sound made from various animals, including wolves, bobcats, lynx, and even domesticated animals like dogs and cats, the jack rabbit will bolt in the opposite direction and head towards their burrow. A mule deer, named after its large mule-like ears, its large ears help the deer pick up the rustling of a predator in the bush from far away. A mule deer's natural defense is to flee using a distinct hopping motion called stotting. More examples of animals that have big ears. You have this dog called the Basset Hound. Its trademark is the flappy ears, also known as leathers. So this dog's ears, they must be clean and dry as they don't get much air circulation. Also keeping the ends of their ears out of food and water bowls is very important to prevent a possible infection. 
This is a long-eared jerboa. You might have a hard time finding one as they hide underground during the day. Okay, they are believed to eat primarily insects and get around by hopping on their long hind legs. Bush babies, also known as galagos, are very small, nocturnal primates native to Africa. They have large sensitive ears that dart around in different directions, similar to a bat's ears. The bush baby uses this acute hearing to hunt down insects in the dark. A serval is an African cat with large, dislike ears that can pick up the ultrasonic sound of its prey, mostly rodents, birds, insects, uh, frogs, and small reptiles. Once they pinpoint the sound of movement, their acute eyesight will zero in on the prey. And there are plenty of animals with the biggest ear to body ratio, okay, which makes them the critters with the biggest ears in the world. Now, let's talk about ear moths. This is in your learner's book, page 123. Some sounds are so loud that they can hurt and damage our ears. Why is it important that these people wear ear, ear moths or ear defenders? Some people therefore need to wear ear moths to block the sound and protect their ears. Just look at this man. This man must wear ear moths to stop the noise of the machine from hurting their ears. This man must wear ear moths also because the sound of the plane is so loud it will hurt his ears. Remember, listening to very loud sounds can be dangerous for our ears. For example, if they are listening to music and they can feel the music or it begins to hurt, okay? It is too loud and could damage their hearing. If they are listening to music through earbuds or headphones and someone else can hear the sound, it is too loud. Over time, exposure to such loud music can damage hearing. Complete workbook page 73, what can you hear? Now challenge yourself. Can you hear clearer with earmuffs? What happens if your hands cover your ears? Can your ears hear all the sounds? Future scientists, please share your thoughts in the class. Thank you.